We're tired! I liked it, but... <laughs> I'm John! I'm Whitney! And I'm tired! And today, we are talking about using concrete with modern building practices. Using concrete and building practices. So... <laughs> Uh, uh, we've got a Saturday Sustainability Q&A! <laughs> on a Saturday! On a Saturday! Fails on a Wednesday! Ding! I'm ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not a girl. Using concrete with building practices. Yes. Concrete crack, concrete foundations crack? Why? Is it the concrete, the contractor, the soil conditions? Then, what do you do? So we're gonna answer that in portions. That's a lot of pieces. Yeah, I think it's two pieces. Okay. Concrete, foundations, crack, and why? What's the number one reason why concrete cracks? Because it's concrete? Because it starts with the letter C. Mm -hmm. Concrete cracks? You know, that's not true, because in like 32 other languages, concrete starts with the letter B, B for big B yeah. So that makes zero sense. Um, so why does concrete cracks? There's a lot of reasons. Let's start out with, let's just, let's just ass identify why it would crack for every one of those questions. So why would it crack? Is it the concrete? Well, sure. If you have a concrete where, what, the bleed rate or the evaporation rate sure. exceeds the bleed rate. Could be a shrinkage issue. Could be a shrinkage and then cracking issue when there's restraint and with... you. Foundations right. we normally have restraint. You could have too much loading, and the concrete's just not strong enough, or doesn't have adequate reinforcement. Uh, well, that, that's that's going down the line. When we oh, talk okay. about the concrete mix itself, could be that oh, the concrete sure. has too much accelerator in it, sure. setting up too quickly. Right. Uh, maybe it's got too much water in it. Maybe it doesn't have enough water in it. Maybe it doesn't have enough water in it. Um, what else about the concrete can cause it to crack? ASR can. Over time, um, I mean, yeah, over not... time, pyrite can. Sure. There's that other, I can't pronounce it, pyrogrite, you know. Oh, right, right. There's clay content that can cause, I mean, those are small cracks. We're just saying cracks holistically. Right. So when we talk cracks, I guess, let's now define cracks, right? You have your structural cracks that are sure. greater than 1 32nd of an inch or greater than a, a hairline, greater like than. Like your more visible cracks. Than 0.75 millimeters. Sure. Then, uh, you know, the, the structural cracks that are open that actually have spacing between right. the cracks and, you know, there's actual deformation. Right. And then you have, like, the ASR cracks, the right. steel corrosion cracks, carbonic acid freestyle, which I guess in a foundation you wouldn't see carbonic acid. Right. Sulfate attack. Could, yeah. So that type of stuff. Really any sort of... Alligator, hairline, cracking system. And yeah, anything that, anything that could theoretically break apart the concrete right. for whatever reason. But that's more long-term stuff. Right. Okay, so then um, after that is, is it the contractor's fault? It depends on where your crack's occurring. Like if there are cracks up top, it could be over finishing or adding too much water with finishing. So that's the top of your foundation, which we really don't care right. about. No, but you if, do, but you don't. Well, not on a foundation where you're yeah, not seeing it, it's underground. What we care about is what a foundation is supposed to do is, is distribute the load sure. of whatever structure is above it to the earth. Sure. If that foundation is broken, or if the geometry is jacked up and then it's broken, mm -hmm. um, you know, so, so those are the two things that sure. I think the contractor can do to cause the foundation to break. Sure. And normally when it's, they break it, it's either really, really little, mm -hmm. or it's holy moly guacamole right. major. Severe. So it's either they messed up the geometry. I remember I was working for the Bryants, and we had a contractor who um, they misjudged the continuous spread footing, mm -hmm. and instead of it being under the wall, like like I think it was like half the wall, like four inches, was four inches of concrete was under a wall and there was dirt underneath. Oh and I said, dude, that that's not going to work. And they said, no, 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 it's okay. We packed dirt underneath it. So no, no, seriously. So that that would be a geometry thing. Sure. Like that wall would crack. The sure. foundation might crack. Sure. So that's geometry. And then putting load on too quickly, sure. uh, backfilling, right. walls, foundations, and you know, I had contractors, when I was again working for the Bryant's, contractors asked, hey, is there any way we can rip and strip and backfill tomorrow, can we get you to write a letter? Right. And I would say no, and then they would be like, there's 50 bucks in it for you. 
So yeah, and if something happens to this house, then right. But right. hey, sometimes you know, normally sure. foundations, you don't really see them until something bad happens. Sure. We had friends who yeah. wanted to buy a house, and they had me. I used to be a home inspector, and they wanted me to come inspect it. Right. I had no problem. I got to the house. You remember? Yeah. There was a basement, a basement that the homeowner dug out. Right. Yeah. And what they ended up doing to get the ventilating system in their house, they cut a portion of their continuous spread foot. So continuous spread footing in that section was like 20 or 30 feet long. They cut it like right down the middle, like a, a huge, I'm doing this, but a huge section of it to get ductwork through. And that's just breaking apart or splitting apart right. your, your foundation and removing it from a certain section of the house. So right. again, I mean, right. that's, that's contractor. Okay. so. Um, where are we? Soil? Soil conditions. So why do you think we would what cause soil conditions? Oh, well, cause the concrete, to, if you've got too much, like expansive clay or something that's taking in too much water and putting pressure on the concrete. Or then drying out sure. and then dropping out. Um, freezing and thawing and sure. heaving of soils. Well, and then in places like Arizona, you can get these, um, it's not tsunami, so what is it? Not maelstroms. Monsoons. You get these monsoons and you have this dry soil for 90% of right. the year and then just an obnoxious amount of rain mm -hmm. and that'll raise the water table and jack up concrete. So, and uh, look at my, my sister's house. Right. They didn't have a French drain or a perimeter drain outside or inside the house. They had the same thing as in New Jersey. Right. The water table increased excessively right. because of uh, high rains. And their water, which was a CMU unit or a CMUs, uh, bowed in right. to the uh, basement right. because of all that water pressure from the soil not being drained correctly. So yeah, that I mean, totally. Wow, good job. Thanks. That was brilliant, baby. So how do we deal with it? Well, uh, when it comes to you know the different types of cracks, when it comes to the superficial hairline cracks that really lead nowhere, you know, paint it. You know, sure. try to control Seal it. it. If there's moisture, stop the moisture, drain sure. it. Um, but when it comes to cracks that there's gel coming out of the cracks, the cracks are coming from the body of the concrete, cracks where there's a major deformation. Um, we once got called out to a hospital. hospital, but we got called out to a hospital and they said there was a, a small crack in their concrete. Right. And when I went to go inspect it, it was two inches wide, right. the entire slab and there was a one inch change in height from one right. one, one slab to the next new slab. And they slab. were blaming it on? Well, doesn't matter now. Okay. Um, but. It was, a, it was a structural crack. It was like a, it was, and that's what I'm trying right. to get at. It's a truly structural crack when you have that much deformation where it totally changes up the structure, whether that's a slab, a vertical member, right. or you know, a tank or something like that. Right. It's not the superficial. So what and do you do? That you gotta rip and replace at that point. And some cracks that are not as extensive, right. that there's enough steel in there holding together, and I mean, shoot, if it's just a, a concrete slab and there's just a bit of a gap, I mean, shoot, epoxy it. Sure. And I mean, if you don't have to rip and replace it, but if it's a structure. Right, you've gotta do it. And quite frankly, tank. I mean, as far as prevention goes, just like we're supposed to do when we're designing structures, like you evaluate all aspects of it and design accordingly, you know, like, right. And it's designed like all of it, like there's all of these different pieces to design adequately. And that's your, and the problem is even when you do that, you can still have issues, but right. you're less likely to oftentimes absolutely. these, these issues happen when people are trying to do shortcuts. Oh, absolutely. Now I will say when you are, doing it right and the issues occurred, normally they're not as catastrophic. As severe, right? And you can go to repair method right. rather than a ripping and replacing. So right. cool. All right, sounds like we got through that I one. Like we did. Then what do you do? Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I, we kept it I know. I'm okay. very proud of us. Oh me too. And I just like standing next to you. Like I could see in the camera that my like this is where I'm supposed to be ish and I'm off center and just all up in your business. So That's okay. this, this is where I should be. You're okay. If we want to balance it out and I just feel like I'm so far away from you. It's okay, here, we'll meet in the middle. Thanks for joining us today. Had a great time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go 
concrete. Beat asphalt. Oh no. <laughs>